days it's been cold, wet, and rainy. Been outside today enjoying the sunshine, doing a little housekeeping on the boat. I want to thank you guys for joining us today. I was milling around yesterday on some footage that I had recorded earlier in the year in the springtime. Got on a good bite for uh, some flipping bugs down at the little honey hole pond I was telling you about over at the small one. I uh, hope you guys enjoy watching today's episode of Greenfish Nation, flipping bugs and ripping lips, so you guys stay tuned. I've got this little uh, little flipping crawl set up here. We're going to start out by flipping some of this uh, cover that's come up in the grass in the last few weeks. The water, like I said, we've had about 10 inches of rain in the last two weeks. We're just going to flip a little bit of this cover and see what we can come up with. Looky there. Ah, dad gummit. He wanted it. He wanted it, but dad gum. I missed him. I'm telling you, as soon as that thing hit the water, he was, he was hungry. There we go, stuck one. Not a bad fish. He fell for it. He fell for it. Not too bad. I'm gonna be throwing a creature bait by Strike King here. Let me find find them dudes over here in the little trailer bag, crawl bag. It's a it's like it's a rage tail. That one was a uh, <clears throat> pumpkin. Had a little rain last night, so we're gonna go with this uh, this blue color here, black and blue. You guys can see that. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna take an extra one and put in our pocket so we don't have to walk back over here. <clears throat> the way I'm rigging this is I'm just going through the the nose and I'm only going about an eighth of an inch and pulling it up here just onto that keeper and then I'm gonna try to keep that thing as straight as I can without exposing the hook and if you guys can hear that or not I'm trying to get that that glass bead to pop that way when I rattle it and then I'm sliding this uh, six cents keeper down there. Oh, where I've got about a half inch above my weight. And that way we're, that's the way we're flipping that dude in there. We're gonna go over here and give it another try. Drop that fish right out of this grass line here. Go in there and see if his brother's in there. He thumped it pretty hard and then took off swimming to deep water with it. Oh, there's another one right there guys he's a little little cuss but he uh <laughs> he wanted him a little bit of that crawl yeah he did he wanted some of it just didn't get a good hook up on him Let's see if we can't get down here and do a little better There's another one. He picked it up and run with it. Oh, 
They are liking that rage crawl today. Not too bad. Not too bad. They seem to be sitting right on the front of that grass line there. The wind's blowing right into this bank over here, so. Sure, they're sitting over just sucking up anything they can get a hold of. The last one, my line, I didn't really feel them strike. It just kind of got mushy. I'm telling you, that's just like the bass factory right there. They are in there. Must be a must be a tree limb down in there or something they're wanting to sit on. was in there again not enough not a bad little fish he's just a little fish he thumped that thing just as just as soon as I put it in there man I, I'd like to move on down but damn I hate to I mean I hate to leave fish to try to find fish, goodness gracious. All right, now maybe we're ready. I hate to leave fish to try to find fish. I'd like to move on down, but that gum. Another one tapped it right there. Man alive. What a day, what a day. And these fish must be hungry. Yeah, like I ain't eaten in a while. Feels like there's some trees along the bottom right there. Maybe some of them willow limbs over the years broke off and bunched up down there with that west wind. All right, we're gonna slip over here under this willow tree, see what we can come up with. Oh, that was a bad cast. Better. Good Lord, it was loud. Well, I'd say it wasn't a bad start. That some gun was ready for it, wasn't he? Scared everything off between here and there. sitting right on the bank. Let's move around. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you what, this is crazy. I have to go buy some Come there and buy some shad to feed these guys or something. Man. They're all about the same size and whew, they hungry. I mean hungry. Let's try them again. I 
they hear apparently. Let's see what we can get into over here. Looks like trouble probably. Huh. There one a big old fish. Literally laying on the bank. That's the way you do it right there, boys and girls. I mean, I must have pitched right on top of that sucker. Went in the hole and out came a fish. That's the way it's supposed to go. All right, guys, I done wore that last bait out. So we're gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to get a new hook. Looks like our hook keeper is shot on this one. We'll try a little more without it, but just because they're biting so good and I don't wanna get off of them. You can see it's got a little shrink wrap right there that's not doing its job anymore. So we'll give it a little bit more here. We'll just go a little deeper and kind of do it like a traditional Texas rig. We won't get as much sound out of our little glass bead, but right now I don't really think we're gonna need a whole lot of sound. As soon as that dude hits the water, it's engulfed. God dang. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy. Absolute craziness. It's like you can't even put a lure in the water without catching a fish. That one was literally two inches from the bank. Man, as soon as it went out there, they hit it. Must be a little one, he's just carrying my line. Just carrying my line. I'd like to get that back if you don't mind. Well, there's one on the west bank. Let's walk on down and see what we can come up with. Felt kind of goofy. So we can get off in here without getting out on a snake. There was one that proved us wrong. 
there's number two that proved us wrong. They're all about that same size, but you know, maybe they got the same mom and daddy. All right, guys, we done moved over to the big water hole. This one here is about 15 acres of various channels and such and so forth. And anywhere from six inches to 16 foot deep. We're gonna get in here so if we can't get us one. So we can get to it. It's a little mossier over here. Ah, dang. Missed one right off, guys. Missed him right off, right out of the box. I mean, first cast. All right, we're gonna see if we can go back in there and get him if he ain't sore lipped. Well, he was on there. Dead gumming, I just couldn't feel him. Now that's what we'd use for bait down there at Fork. He don't know that though. He thinks he's a big old fish. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Greenfish Nation. There ain't nothing like flipping bugs and ripping lips. Guys, if you are enjoying our content, I want you to let us know by going to our channel and subscribing, giving us that old thumbs up button when you watch a video, if you like it. Leave us a comment below. Talk to us about things you'd like to see or things that you're enjoying seeing. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notifications button. Until later, tight lines. Greenfish Nation.